plastic today is really bad in Europe. Everybody's trying to get away from plastic, so everybody's going to paper. So we have large uh, water companies that come up and see us and say, we want to change all of our machines from plastic to paper. The reality is it's way too expensive, and it's also bad for the environment. If you start analyzing the paper consumption that you're going to do, there's not too many forests in Europe. Everybody wants to be sustainable. Uh, but you have to be able to afford it. Packaging is exciting because there are so many different industries and so many different types of packaging. And I always say that Polypack has been green for the last 60 years because that's what we always strive to do with our customers. But it's got to be green both ways, right? It's got to be green with the dollar and it's got to be green for the environment. Polypack is a, a packaging equipment manufacturer. I've uh, been in business a little over 60 years, serving uh, customers like Unilever, Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, and Nestle. So we take products uh, from manufacturing, from the food, pharmaceutical, personal care, and we take that product and then collate it together, uh, put film around it, or place it into the box. We do everything from the initial equipment design, uh, manufacturing of each individual component, wiring of the electrical panels, and then full assembly and testing of those machines. Because even though Polypack manufactures shrink packaging equipment, we're essentially an engineering company. So Polypack was started in, in the late 50s uh, by my father, uh, building a bagger in his garage at home. The garage so small that you couldn't get the bagger out of the door because it was too small. Since then, it's you know it's grown quite a bit. Uh, it's now headquartered in the U.S. When I first came to Polypack, I was very intrigued by by the mission of creating sustainable packaging material and equipment in a sustainable manner. Not only do we manufacture and provide machines that help customers package their product in a more sustainable manner but we manufacture those machines with sustainability in mind through the use of solar energy, uh, stainless steel components that don't require painting or any solvents in the production process. Stainless steel is an easy material to use. It lasts forever. Um, you can have a machine that's 40 years old and it still look like new. The solar panels generate a little over 90% of the electricity that we use. Typically, our electric bill would be in the eight to ten thousand dollar per month range. We've had our bills down as low as fifteen dollars a month. And you have to look at everything, right? You have to look not only at, at the electricity consumption that you use, but how, how much scrap do you send out? So all the prints from engineering come over to the laser machine. Uh, they get cut out in an efficient manner to minimize our scrap. All the, the cutting and punching is done as a single operation and can be automated. So Polypack is based on technology, innovation. And the, the car collection that was started by my father, who has always been passionate about innovation and technology. And, and you have a lot of these cars here that are all about the first, right? The first half-track, the first electric car. And, and you find out that these technologies were from the 20s, the 30s, or earlier. And how does it evolve? So at Polypack, we believe in simplicity and design, not only just because it's easy to manufacture, but if it's easy to manufacture, it's easy to maintain. And the really uh, good machines are machines that can run not only today, but tomorrow and the year after. The simplicity of design of some of these cars, the modular aspect of these cars, really reflect on the equipment that we build. So you, sometimes you'll bring your engineers in here and say, look, see how this, this cover comes off. See how quickly it is to change this, this motor. And simplicity is the way, I mean, everything should be. But it's not easy. You have to work hard at, at designing something that's simple. building machines to use plastic doesn't sound really, really good, does it? But, it, but it's a debate where, whether plastic or paper is better. 
Whether it's plastic, whether it's paper, uh, it's all about source reduction. The least amount of material you can use, the better you are for the environment, and the more you can recycle the materials you use, the better you are for the environment. The less you use, the better it is. If you put four people in a car, it's going to be better than putting one person in a car, whether that car is electrical or gas powered. So no matter what material we're using, whether it's paper or plastic, we want to use less of it. You bring in less into your factory, you're using less, the machine is going to be more efficient, and then you ship out less. Being in a, on the packaging side, we need to be the ones leading the charge to create these more sustainable material options and get them more frequently used out in the marketplace. A key to success, you know, companies that stay around for a long time, it's all about innovation, right? You can't build the same car, the same toy year after year uh, because markets change, people change. My industry of the future is using 100% recycled materials in easy to use, fully automated equipment.